Wall Street continues to be bullish on Apple. The company's stock is edging higher at the midday mark Tuesday after settling at an all-time closing high of $411.63 a share on Monday. The gains come after a J.P. Morgan analyst note saying Apple will release not one, but two new iPhones this fall, one being the iPhone 5, which will include a host of new features, and the other, the iPhone 4 Plus, which would have minor improvements from its current version and target users in China. The analyst points to the potential for higher quarterly shipment rates, especially with how hot Apple's growth rate in China already is. The tech giant can really do no wrong on Wall Street. Apple shares have gained 27 percent since the beginning of the year. That works out to about $89 apiece. And the recent rise comes not long after Steve Jobs handed the CEO reins to Tim Cook and said he'd simply stay on as chairman. Investors don't seem to be bothered by that, though. The common thinking is that Jobs has set Apple up for years of product dominance and has a very solid team taking over. Expectations that Sprint could also start carrying the iPhone have helped as well. For CNN Money, I'm Allison Kosick at the New York Stock Exchange.